Year 13, wow, this is such an intense time of year for you. I imagine you're traveling all over the country, doing this, doing that, open days, interviews, revision. Um, there is a lot going on. Now, hopefully those university offers are coming in. Hopefully you've got a favorite. Hopefully you're in the position to make your firm and insurance choices. I know a lot of you won't be though. Do not worry, you still have lots and lots of time. Lots of interviews are still going on, lots of preparation still going on. If you have interviews coming up, don't forget I have written you loads of questions which will help you prepare. Just think about two, three bullet points that each of those questions will really, really help you prepare for those interviews. And then we need to think about offers and how that influences your revision. Now, a university may give you an offer that says an A in chemistry and then two Bs. So it doesn't really matter what those Bs are in. However, if you get an A in biology, an A in maths and a B in chemistry, you haven't met your offer. Even though you got more A's than you needed, you still haven't met the conditions of the offer. So if there is any subject where you have to get a grade in, then you need to make sure that that is your priority when you're revising. High priority and low priority subjects are a little bit different than the way from GCSE because you generally only have three or in some cases four subjects. So we still need to revise all of them a lot but you need to make sure that you get the grades in the subjects that you need them in. The brilliant thing about the new A-levels is that they are basically the same. It doesn't matter which exam board you're doing. So I know there aren't going to be a lot of past papers out there for you to revise, but you can go and get other exam boards papers and revise from those as well. Because the content is generally the same, there's just going to be some slight differences in the way that they actually ask questions. Don't let these differences freak you out, but you can still use the questions, you can still use the papers to help you revise. Make sure that you're revising all of your year 12 stuff. With the introduction of the linear exams, the examiners have noticed a big drop in how well students are doing in the, the easy questions. The stuff that we did at the beginning of year 12, the kind of like revision of GCSE stuff in some cases. All of that content is just as important as all of this really, really hard, nitty gritty stuff that we're getting into at the moment. We don't have much teaching time left. You can generally expect all the teaching to be done around Easter. So that's only, what, six weeks left until teaching at school is done. Now I know for some of you this is going to be the start of a lot of change in life and I know for some of you this can be really really scary, intimidating, unsure time as you don't really know what's going to happen next, you don't, maybe don't necessarily know where you're going to be, you're going to be moving away from home, a lot of changes going on. We need to make sure you have mechanisms in place to cope with all of these changes. So when talking about things like exercise, mindfulness, taking up yoga, doing a bit of walking, all of this is going to be really, really good for your mental health. Do not spend so much time revising that your brain turns to mush. That is not going to be good for you. It's not going to be good for you revision-wise, it's not going to be good for you in the exams, it's not going to be good for you after exams either. One of the things I'd like you to start doing is, you know, thinking about the future a little bit. Thinking about the place where you want to go to university and use this as your motivation. Go and look up all the little boutique coffee shops and nice little shops and the, the clubs that you could be going to when you get those grades and use that as motivation to revise. Over my website, I've started to do loads and loads of stuff for A-Level. More and more is going to be coming out really, really quickly. So I'm going to be here with you every single step of the way. Ouch. Mm, love you too, Prim.